All right, well, y'all can't see it, but our little blueberry bush has some flowers on it. Can you see it better now? Let's see. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's getting some, yeah, we're gonna have some blueberries this year. Yay. Both of them, check them out. Mm -hmm. More than three blueberries. And then over here, we got our peach tree. Oh yeah, got flowers all over that bad boy. So pretty. Oh yeah, those are some beautiful flowers too. Alright. This is pretty cool. So this is a dwarf peach tree. So it only gets about six to eight foot tall. Is it as tall as it'll get? No, it, it'll get taller than that. It'll get about six to eight foot tall. So, but it's going to have a lot. We got all the weeds pulled out of our garden too. So, well, they didn't help, but they watched the little kids, which are... They ran off. They ran off, so go find them, please. We got all the weeds cleared out of our garden. Yay. I'm so excited. Planting season is the best time of the year. Oh, there was weeds everywhere. This is where our tomatoes are all going to go. Along this fence right here. And then we got... Yeah. And then we got uh, another peach tree over here. This one didn't do too good. But I planted it in the regular ground. Planted apple tree. Oh yeah, I forgot about the apple tree. But oh, that's a pear tree. Pear tree. Yeah, pear. Planted. But uh, this tree I planted, this peach tree I planted at the same exact time as that peach tree over there. And uh, I didn't do it in the back to Eden method, like I'm doing over there on that side. And it didn't do good at all. And so just last year, I added the back to Eden method on it. And if you want to know more about the back to Eden method, you can look it up and find out about it yourself. You know, it's a, there's a good video on there by Paul Gauchi. And uh, he explains it really good. But this is, I will never go back to any other method. We just got done tearing up some mint right here. Oh man, it was a small plant and it took over. Don't ever put mint in your garden if you don't want it to eat your garden alive. <laughs> Say hi. I have holes in my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to move. Hmm. Man, that thing did not die. Out of the dumpster too. Yeah, yeah, this uh this is a right here this thing is a peach tree. And we got that out of a dumpster. Oh, a pear tree. Or a pear tree. Yeah, 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 pear tree. Sorry. And it's got flowers on it again this year. I thought it's been sitting here in this bag all year. Don't pull, don't pull it up. It might be. I just want to look. The roots might have went through that bag and. No, we're good. I can't believe that thing is still alive. It's not in, out. We need to plant it this year. It has been sitting there for a whole year. We didn't plant it because we oh, thought it was going to die. And all winter, and it's been sitting in that bag like that. That is nuts. And now it's coming back. We got to plant it. Yeah, we're though. Um. I don't know where I want to put it. I don't. Right there where we well, got that mint. the sun comes up over here, right up over this side right here. So, I mean, if we put it, we could put it right there in that freaking hole right there. Right in our little fire pit. I don't know though. I don't want to block no, I don't want to block no sun from hitting the garden. But I'm going to build a pathway through. All right, that's it for now. I'm out. Peace. Beautiful sunset. Oh look, I don't know if y'all can see it. There's the moon right there too. Oh man. That's awesome. Uh, yep, you can see it a little bit right there. You see it?